Welcome to Furry's OVTV's newscast. Today we have several different stories that cover serious topics like the dangers for, uh, for eating detergent to exciting information on how the Olympic Winter Games went for the U.S. Well, all of that sounds great. So let's get started with our first segment on the highlights from the Super Bowl. Hello, students of OV. Today we're going to be talking about the Super Bowl and the highlights. Also, we are going to do interviews with students on who they cheer for and as well as the team Super Bowl appearances team. Hey Alec, who are you cheering for in the Super Bowl? I was cheering for the Eagles kind of because I was tired of Tom Brady winning a bunch of Super Bowls, so this year I thought it would be different and see the Eagles win the first time. What was your favorite part about it? Uh, probably when Tom Brady got bubbled at like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Um, I think that was really enjoyable because that was finally when we realized that they were going to win. This year in 2017 and 18 season, the Eagles had a record of 13 to 3, placing first place in the division. They have also been to two Super Bowl appearances before this year. Also, the Patriots went 13 and 3 in the following season, placing first place as well. The Patriots has been to 10 Super Bowls. Our first highlight is a Zach Ertz catch for the touchdown. The the out, does he control it? Our second highlight is a Tom Brady foul. And now you got to flip back here to Danny oh. Emmett, throw it, who throws, and it's Brady who can't pull it in. Our third highlight is when Tom Brady fumbles. Ball is out, and Philadelphia has it. Thank you for watching. Super Bowl was awesome. Yeah, it was. Football is exciting to watch. Another exciting sport to watch is baseball. Our next segment is about the outlook of the 2018 Angel season. You love me, I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on. Hey guys, Alec here. Today we're looking at the 2018 Angel season. I'll come looking at the player trades, how season going to go. So we're also going to make it to the playoffs. As the Angels ended the 2017 season, they struggled to find a consistent and good third baseman. So they signed Zach Kozar. Kozar is a veteran infielder, so he'll be a meaningful third baseman in the presence of Angel shortstop Andres Simmons. This is a very useful pickup, and since last year, Zach was a starter in the All-Star game. Since Zach Kozar played for the last place Cincinnati Reds, he is excited to play on a young team. Kozar last year had 480 at-bats, 80 runs. 130 hits, 24 home runs, and 63 RBIs. Next pick of the Angels made is this Japanese star, Shohei Otani. Otani wanted to sign with the team that would sign him as a pitcher and a hitter. Otani has played a total of 445 games as a hitter and pitcher. His hitting stats are 150 runs, 296 hits, 48 home runs, and a slugging percentage of 500. He is just as good as, at pitching as hitting, so his pitching stats are 42 wins, 15 losses, an ERA of 252. 624 strikeouts and 543 pitches. He seems to be a very bright and young player for the Angels. And the Angels have had a very active offseason, so they could be a big hit if all the newest set players perform well. So look out for your 2018 Angels newly created team. Well, that was interesting. I can't wait till the baseball season starts. Me too. I hope with these new changes, the Angels will go all the way. Well, our next segment is on athletes who made it all the way to the Winter Olympics. Our next segment will show us highlights from the games. The Winter Olympics took place Friday, February 9th to Sunday, February 25th. The Winter Olympics was held in Pyeongchang, South Korea. This was South Korea's first time hosting the Winter Olympics. In the last Winter Olympics, the United States won 28 medals and 9 of them were gold. The United States is fourth at the Winter Olympics and they have 21 medals. The main people to watch were Sean White, Lindsey Vaughn, Karen Chen, Chloe Kim, and Gus Kenworthy. One of the United States' main rivals is Canada. The national soccer team won gold over Canada, but Canada didn't want to take the silver. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see our next episode. The Winter Games went by so fast. I'm glad to see those highlights. Yeah, it was great to see those highlights. It was fun. Our next topic isn't so fun. Our next segment will show us the dangers of eating detergent. Hi, everyone, and welcome to LVTV. 
As some of you know, there's a new challenge going around known as Tide Pod. It is seizing the country by a storm. Teenagers are daring each other to eat them. In the first half of January, poison control centers handled 39 cases in which teenagers were intentionally exposed to the detergent packets. These dares are known as Tide Pod Challenge. Although it may seem bad, there are many people trying to reverse the negative effects it has on people. For example, a restaurant in New York has introduced a new item called Tide Pods, which are cheese rolls with the same color as Tide Pods, but are not poisonous. Another example comes from a recent Twitter post coming from Tide itself. Tide has taken all Tide Pods off of shelves as February 1st. This is a very good sign since there were almost 11,000 reports of people being exposed to the packets. In the end, the Tide Pods being taken off the shelves will make a positive change in the country. I'm glad we got to hear about the dangers of feeding detergent. Why would anyone do that to begin with? Well, at least no one got hurt. On a lighter note, our next segment is about the Super Bowl commercials. I'm here with Al Controller, and today we'll also be interviewing him about Super Bowl commercials. Do you have a specific favorite commercial watching Super Bowl? Um, yeah, I did. I liked the NFL one with Odell Beckham Jr. and Eli Manning. It was pretty funny, and oh. I liked all the action. When he was looking up in the air? Yeah, when he was uh, dancing. Was, it, was, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Do you find the, this year's Super Bowl commercials entertaining or boring? Um, I felt like this year was kind of like in the middle. Um, I think uh, other years were a little bit more entertaining. This year there was a couple, but I feel like it was just more on the boring side than entertaining. It wasn't that much as like represented. Yeah. Do you think Super Bowl commercials are more entertaining and creative than regular TV commercials? Um, yeah, I kind of feel that way because um, they put more time in them because it's like you're gonna be a, in a bigger crowd. I feel that like a lot more people see them than like if you were on a regular channel seeing a commercial. So yeah, I feel like they are a lot more creative. Than yeah, I think so too. After interviewing some students, we can conclude that the 2018 Super Bowl commercials were entertaining and creative. Glad to hear those students at LV enjoy those commercials. Personally, I watch the game, but some of the commercials are funny, like the Eminem one with actor Danny DeVito. Speaking of actors, our next segment is about the award season for 2018. Do any of you guys watch the Grammys, Emmys, Oscars, or the Golden Globes? Well, if you don't, today we will be informing you on all recent past and upcoming award events. We hope you all are enjoying the award season. Recently, the 2018 Grammys aired on television on January 28th, 2018 at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Grammys are an award show where awards are presented to musicians who really excelled in their music this year and received numerous votes from fans. The, these awards are given out by the Recording Academy. This year's host was James Gordon. A few well-known performers were Bruno Mars, Cardi B, Sam Smith, Lady Gaga, Kendrick Lamar, Kesha, Rihanna, DJ Khaled, and Charles Gambino. There were about 19 performers, but these are just a few are well-known. One fun fact is that Bruno Mars won the most awards. Hope you all learned a bit more about the Grammys. Now let's hear about the Oscars. The Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars, are given out annually to recognize an achievement that was achieved in motion pictures. The 90th Academy Awards will air March 4th, 2018, and Jimmy Kimmel will be the host. Very similar to the Oscars, the Golden Globes are awards for movies and films from foreign countries. The 75th Golden Globe Awards were, was broadcasted live on January 7th, 2018 from... California beginning at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Some of the films that got a Golden Globes Award was Three Billboards Outside, Ebbing, Missouri, Coco, and The Fade, and many more. Now let's move on to the Emmys. The Emmys are an award show where awards are given to directors, actors, sub-actors, and TV show cast. Once again, the nominees are chosen by fans, and the fans vote for who they think excelled the most that year. Today I'm here with Melanie and I'm going to be interviewing her, asking her what award show she likes to watch. So do you watch the Grammys, Emmys, the 
Jordan Globe to the Oscars. I watched the Oscars. Where's the Oscars? Why do you watch the Oscars? Because I'm a beach <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched them too. Like, yeah. Okay, thank you. So today I'm here with Jillian, and I'm going to ask her, which did you want to win award? Um, I personally wanted um, Kendrick Lamar to win an award because I know that he um, he like lost to Bruno Mars and something like that. I, know, I like Kendrick Lamar, so I think he should have uh, got that award. I had no idea there were so many award shows. No kidding, I prefer to watch the Grammys since you get to see your favorite performer sing their most popular songs. Well, our last segment is how to tell the difference between real designer shoes and fake designer shoes. Go. Welcome back to Tell a Difference with Chris and Elena. Today we're here to talk about how to tell a difference with real and fake shoes. Yes, so these shoes are getting harder and harder to tell the difference between. So today we'll show you what to look for before you buy Yeezys. Stitching can show differences. If you look closely, the stitching should cross all that action. And on the fake shoes, the stitching are all over the place, which makes no sense. And that's just one easy thing. Stitching does it away with people who don't know how to tell the difference, but heel tabs do too. Take a look. This is a super easy catch due to poor construction on the fake. The heel tabs on the real Yeezys come up higher than the ones on the fakes, which lay flat. If you look at a side-by-side -side comparison, it's easy to see. Alright, so the two things that you've already seen can help you find the real pair. Pattern gives it away. With the V1 replicas, it is easy to tell a difference with the patterns where the tiny line should go from left to right, all chaining, and if it goes any other way whatsoever, it's their fake. So that's a reference to you guys can tell a difference between real and fake. Hope you enjoyed it, we'll see you guys next time. Never even knew there were fake designer shoes out there. Well, that's all the time we have. So remember, students, explore, explore learn, and you will achieve. achieve.